Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Darren Goodman from GuitarControl.com and today I want to uh, show you a, a way that, that I like to use the pentatonic scale to cover a, a large area of the fretboard. And uh, rather than using traditionally, you know, the five positions of the pentatonic scale, I use, it's a total of three patterns that overlaps all five and it covers a very large area of the fretboard. So uh, be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs and let's get close up and take a look at this. All right, so for today we are in E minor and we're gonna start off, we're, we're just gonna go over uh, what I'm gonna call pattern number one, which is actually pattern number one. Um, in the five positions of the pentatonic scale. So this is your, your box pattern. So starting on the 12th fret, on the sixth string, we've got 12, 15, and then on the fourth string, or excuse me, fifth string, we've got 12, 14, fourth string, we've got 12, 14, the third string, we've got 12, 14, second string, 12, 15, and first string, 12, 15. So you probably already know know that pattern. All right, so next, let's look at what I'm going to call pattern number two. So pattern number two starts on the fifth string on the seventh fret in, in, this, in E, because that's an E. So we've got seven there, and then with your first finger, you're gonna go to the fifth fret of the fourth string, to the seventh fret of the fourth string with your third finger, and then the ninth fret also with your third finger. Then from there, we move to the third string, to the seventh fret with your first finger, and then the ninth fret with your third finger. Then we're gonna move to the eighth fret of the second string with your first finger, and then the tenth fret with your third finger, the twelfth fret with your third finger, then to the 10th fret of the first string with your first finger, and then finally the 12th fret with your third finger. All right, so that's ascending. Now when you descend it, you're gonna use the same fingers except how we were going on the strings that have three notes, which incidentally, the the fifth string has one note, and then you have three notes, then two notes, then three notes, then two notes and it would just continue on that way. So when you're ascending, the first note you play with your first finger, and the second note you play with your third finger, and if there's a third note, you also play that with your third finger. But when you're descending, you want to play the third note with your uh, third finger, and then you also wanna play the second note with your third finger and the first note with your first finger. So ascending, We've got one, three, three, one, three, one, three, three, one, three. And then descending, three, one, three, one, one, three, one, three, one, one, three. And by doing that, it just makes it much easier to transition between uh, the strings. So that is pattern number two. All right, so for pattern number three, it is it is basically the exact same pattern as pattern number two, just we're gonna start on the sixth string. So now we're starting on the 12th fret of the sixth string, third finger, and we're gonna do that same sequence we did before. So since now this is the, our, the string with our root note, we've only got one note, and then we're going to go three notes, then two notes, then three notes, then two notes, so on and so forth. So we've got 12 on the sixth string, and then 10 on the fifth, 12, 14, and then to the uh, fourth string, 12, 14, then for the uh, third string, uh, 12, 14, 16, to the second string, 15, 17, and then to the first string, 15, 17, 19. And again, do the same thing when you, you know, when you descend it, now we're 3, 1, 1, 3, 1, Three, one, one, three, one, three, one, one, three. All right, so by using uh, these three patterns, 
I'm going to show you a way that you can kind of hook them together. And if you practice this, just chaining them together, it, it it's the same thing no matter what key you're in. It's always going to hook together the same way. So by moving from, uh, we're going to start with the pattern number two. So in the key of E, we start off pattern number two. We're going to start on the seventh fret on the fifth string, and we're going to ascend all the way up that pattern. Now, the note we just ended on, we're on the 12th fret, right? If we now move our hand up so your first finger is on that 12th fret instead of your third, and then that leaves you free to use your fourth finger, your third finger, whatever's more comfortable for you. If I'm in a lower key, I always use my fourth finger, but when I get up here, sometimes I use my third just because of space. Uh, now we're going to descend pattern number one. So let's look at that whole thing we just did again. So we're starting back here on the seventh fret, which was an E. Moving up. Now we're going to start pattern number three, right where this ended on the twelfth fret. So now what we've done is we've ended here on the 19th fret. We started here on the 7th, we moved back to the 5th. So we've just covered that much of the, uh, the neck, that much of your fretboard by knowing three patterns in one key. So you can move this around in a different keys and it's just a good way to like really cover a lot of area of the fretboard. And um, what I like about patterns two and three is the way those shapes are, they just kind of lend themselves more for licks that have like like slides and things like that in it. So if you like... Whereas the uh, pattern number one just lends it well for stuff where you plant your first finger, you know, like some legato stuff. So it's really, it's really cool to kind of mix these two things together and to be able to cover that much of the fretboard. So what I would recommend doing is practicing it ascending and descending. So uh, if you start off, you know, here, you know, pattern two. Now, descend it. And so on. All right, so uh, I hope you enjoyed that and got something out of it. Uh, I, I've been doing this, like connecting these three patterns together. You know, it's been kind of a staple of my playing for, I mean, a long, long, long time. Uh, the what I'm calling pattern two and three, there's a lot of Tony Iommi uh, licks that are kind of, that's kind of just how he plays. And I got the idea from that. And then um, the one of my very first guitar teachers uh, showed me uh, a scale pattern uh, like that. And then it just, you know, it kind of all went from there. Um, so if you uh, enjoyed that and got something out of it, you know, Give me a give me a like on the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, and until next time.